assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to my channel in today's lecture we are going to prove the famous schreier refinement theorem this theorem is a direct application of the famous butterfly lemma or you can call it the zersenhaus lemma so uh, let us see what does it states it states that any two series in a group have isomorphic refinements okay so uh, there are three keywords in this statement one is series the other is isomorphic and the last one is refinements okay series refers to a normal series or a subnormal series isomorphic okay you have you should have the concept of uh, isomorphic series okay two series are said to be isomorphic if their quotient groups are in one to cor one correspondence and uh, uh, those factors which are in one to one correspondence should be isomorphic okay and finally the word refinement now the refinement of a series contains all the terms of the original series and it may contain extra terms as well okay so these are the explanation for these three words so uh, we start with assuming two different series for a group g the first series consists of the subgroups h i's and the second series consists of the subgroup kj's okay so these two are over series right next uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, what we are going to do is we are going to consider two classes of subgroups of the group g one is hij the other is kij now hij subgroups are formed by the multiplication of hi with hi plus one intersection kj and the subgroups kijs are formed by the multiplication of kj with hi intersection kj plus one okay now uh, i leave it for you people to verify that uh, these uh, this class of subgroups contains all subgroups that were originally there in the hi series of g and uh, this class of subgroups of g i mean kij uh, they contains all terms or all subgroups in the kj series i leave it for you to verify pause this video for a moment check this out and then you can move on and now we are going to apply the famous butterfly or zessenas lemma on four subgroups of g which are hi hi plus one kj and kj plus one and we already know from the original two series that uh, hi is normal subgroup of hi plus one and kj is normal subgroup of kj plus one okay then uh, using butterfly lemma on these we will get that these two quotient groups are isomorphic to each other okay this is what butterfly lemma tells us and if you uh, observe this closely you can very easily judge that the group over here is actually by over definition is hij plus one okay and the group over here is hij if you can't understand this please pause this video go back in this video and see the definition of hij it will be clear to you similarly this group over here is ki plus 1j and this group over here is kij as the butterfly lemma is suggesting us that these two are quotient groups what does that mean it means that hij is normal subgroup of hij plus 1 similarly kij is normal subgroup of ki plus 1j okay so one thing is very clear very obvious from here that the class of subgroups that we consider actually two classes one was containing hij subgroups the other was containing kij groups these two are also forming a series of the group g okay and the first one of that i mean hij the class which contains all subgroups hij is actually a refinement of the original series which was consisting of subgroups hi's and the class of groups kij is actually a refinement of the series which was consisting of kj subgroups okay now what is left for us is only to prove that the set of quotient groups of this refinement is in one to one correspondence with uh, the set of quotient subgroups of this refined series okay but it's very clear from here i have written it over here for you people that uh, hij plus 1 over hij 
and k i plus one j over k i j. Now these two quotient groups are isomorphic to each other, and uh, what are they by the way? They are the general representative of all quotient groups of this refined series, and this one over here k i plus one j over k i j is representative of all quotient groups of the refined series consisting of k i j subgroups so uh, we have successfully proved that uh, this series of subgroups which is a refinement of the series h i and this series which is the refinement of the k j series these two refinements are isomorphic to each other thank you so much for watching the complete video please subscribe my channel like and share this video and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update thank you so much